Jingle bells, jingle bells, jingle all the way. Oh, what fun it's to ride a rope and flip the island. Fuck it. I hear voices in my head, they counsel me, they understand. You know, it's not very often that I go after some Christian, especially the likes of Joshua Fernstein. I mean, feminism tends to be, you know, the more bigger topic than some random Christian. But every now and then within the cracks, we see a, a Christian like the likes of Joshua Fernstein do something incredibly fucking stupid. What's up, Josh Fernstein here? You know, I think in the age of political correctness, we become so open-minded, our brains have literally fallen out of our head. Yeah, something that we can agree on. You know, the feminists are so goddamn obsessed with the whole political correctness bullshit that... They found their way to peek into even some of the most ridiculous things. You know, video games, movies, books, art, you name it. Do you realize that Starbucks wanted to take Christ and Christmas off of their brand new cups? That's why they're just plain red. Oh, I'm sorry. Since when did Starbucks ever had the symbol of Jesus Christ nailed to a cross on any of their cups? Since when? In fact, do you realize that Starbucks isn't allowed to say Merry Christmas to customers? Well, they're not under obligation to say Merry Christmas. Well, I decided instead of simply boycotting, well, why don't we just start a movement? So when I went in and I asked for my coffee, they asked for my name and I told them my name is Merry Christmas. I could have sworn I seen this before. Like, there was this one guy who was like, you know, he, he tricked this one guy from to uh, say that Jesus is Christ, Jesus is Lord. And then he just said like, yeah, I just proved that Jesus Christ exists. I'm seeing a pattern here. I, I don't remember when this happened. I just remember it happened. So guess what, Starbucks? I tricked you into putting Merry Christmas on your cup. And I'm challenging all great Americans and Christians around this great nation, go into Starbucks and take your own coffee selfie. Bravo, sir! You managed to fool Starbucks into putting Merry Christmas on their cups. Yeah, that's a Big fucking achievement! Fuck the moon landing! This is the real achievement right here! And then I challenge you to not only share this video so that the word gets out, but let's start a movement. And let's call it, I don't know, hashtag Merry Christmas Starbucks. And I know that by sharing this video and getting other Christians to do it, well, I guarantee that we can make this go around the world. And Starbucks, guess what? Just to offend you, I made sure to wear my Jesus Christ. <gasps> no! Not the Jesus Christ shirt! Oh! shirt into your store and since you hate the second amendment i even carried my gun so let me get this straight you believe that starbucks has become so anti-christian that the moment they start seeing the uh, any symbolism that represents jesus christ they're gonna start hissing like some sort of evil demon like ah, rah, 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 rah. jesus christ ah! not to mention that you brought a gun into a store all because you believe that your First Amendment is being ruined, so you will have to protect your Second Amendment, the right to bear arms. <sighs> Joshua, I do believe you deserve to go to jail for this. Yikes. Anyways, guys, please take a moment. Choose to not be politically correct. Just correct. Share the video, like, comment. Are I even bored to... Even say that, you know, comment down below if you're not going to even bother responding to any form of criticism. I have not once seen you on the drug and peasants. I really wish you were. I really wish you were to defend yourself in any, in, in, in any debate. You know, defend yourself against the amazing atheist or um, the likes of uh, Sargon of Akkad. Anyone at the matter. But truth of the matter is, you're not. You're not going to defend your position. You're just going to, you know, be on your merry way. <sighs> the 
only reason I'm not even making this video response is because I'm fucking bored. And you know what? It's fucking Christmas. I better do something Christmas related. So here it is. Something Christmas related. I am the Atheist Gamer. Peace. The game out.